Good morning, this is day two in the muscle and we're now headed to our breakfast, which is conveniently just downstairs. We just got a breakfast, it's a buffet style, so they served us for us because of COVID. We finished our breakfast, it was good. Um, you know, sometimes we'll phase around the best, but this wasn't bad. Now we are just getting ready to go to the museum and enjoy this beautiful weather. Look at this uh, view from the balcony. As you can see, we are just a street away from the beach and pretty much everything touristy here. So it's a pretty convenient location. So before we head to the museum, we're actually gonna go to a viewpoint that's pretty close to our hotel. We'll be there in a bit, we'll show you around and then we're gonna head to the museum. Unfortunately, it seems like the viewpoint is closed, but at least we got to see all these different boats that are docked here. So I guess we'll make our way early to the museum and we'll see how that is there. Well, I just wanted to provide some contrast. We're here at that same little square we were at yesterday and no little kids. But we do have a ton of pigeons. They're feeding them, that's why they're here. But yesterday we found out they rent some of those electric cars that the kids were using. So that's why they were all here. <laughs> These pigeons are going crazy. We're here at the Monster Museum. We were worried that maybe things would just be in Turkish, but there's actually uh, info on it in English too. So I think it would be a good opportunity for us to learn a little bit about the history of Amasra. The museum is not too big, but we'll take a look. how many actual artifacts they were able to find. We were reading inside that they found some of these from the Roman Empire, some of the influence of the sea trade, Genoese influence. It's an interesting place. I would say that if you can come here, it's only 12.5 Turkish lira. It's a little small, like we said earlier, but it's a good way to learn a bit about the area. We're here walking around and we found the Al Masra castle, or at least whatever is left of it. And it's really close to the water. And we learned some of the history because it has influences from many different empires and eras. We learned that the castle was built during the Roman period and the walls of the castle were built by the Byzantines. Now we're walking out to this viewpoint which is pretty popular. A lot of people here today and yesterday. And the water is really clear so it's good to see that. This is a small town, so everything's pretty close by. Now we're heading to Kemeti Bridge, which was built also during the Roman period. We saw it a little bit yesterday, but today we're going to see how it looks in the day. earlier the bridge was built during the Roman period and it was meant to connect the two islands. This is obviously a small town and the bridge is small and the gates were made before cars so they're small too but there's still people trying to get through some of these gates they don't fit so that creates a mess um, but now we're going to the lighthouse see what this other island has to offer. The views are amazing from up here it's super windy but it's also a tough hike. Hopefully you can hear us because it's pretty windy. We made it to the top over here at the lighthouse. And the lighthouse is not much, it's pretty small. But um, it's a great view from up here, so I recommend you do the hike if you can. It's nice up here, it's so windy. We're gonna take a break. The kids 
are back. And if you're wondering how some of these little kids are such good drivers, well, you see the parents have the controls. At least that's a little more responsible, even though some of the parents are trying to run over the pigeons. Stopped at a small restaurant along this main street. We got two different types of pide. One is kasharla pide, which is essentially just with cheese. And the amasra pide, which has some vegetables and cheese, and we'll see how it is. We never tried that one before. So all the veggies are for me, and I think I'll be eating this other by myself. <laughs> This is essentially a cheese pizza, but it's good. And they always, for the most part, give you some salad. But what would you think of the Amastra pita? It's good. This is the crispiest pita I've ever had. You can hear it crunch every time you bite it. So we made it to this fishing dock, which serves as a great view point that you can see behind us. You can see the view. We're hungry, but I think it's worth walking here as the sun sets so we can enjoy some of that before we head out for dinner. Okay, I got the Beiti Kebab. I've had this before back in Ankara. Let me see how it tastes here. Yeah, this is good. Tomato sauce is good. Yogurt is good. Good choice. I got the etonet and I'm gonna eat it with some of this bread that they gave me. It's good, it's juicy and fresh. I really like it, the portion's not too big. And of course, we'll just play whatever I don't like. So Andrea will get some of the vegetables and I'll probably get some of the potatoes. And yeah, this place is pretty good. It's called um, Amasra Sofras. We're gonna enjoy it because it's pretty windy and we're hungry. ordered different things so we could try them out. Uh, this one has chocolate, apple, coconut, and maybe some nuts over here. So I'll try this one first. There's lots of sugar. It's got apple with cinnamon inside. More like a jelly than like an apple pie. More, it's more like um, preserves or something. It's good. Not my favorite, but uh, I don't mind eating it. I got this cookie with shredded coconut on top. So the chocolate flavor is very light, you can barely taste it, and it's got nuts inside. Mm. It's more nutty than chocolate. I'm going to try this. I think it might just be like a sugar cookie, a regular one, but let me see if it has anything. Mm. I don't see any walnuts or anything inside or any nuts, but it's good, solid. I want to try this one, which seems like a, I don't know what it seems like, it's an interesting combo. Let me try it. I think it's chocolate. It's chocolate, but it's not really too... It's not a strong chocolate. It's pretty subtle. It reminds me of a Mexican pastry we call marranito, which I have no idea how to describe it, but it's good. We are now on our way to the beach. It's very windy, as you can see, and it's probably a little cold, but I think tomorrow morning we'll walk around here a bit more. 